Hello, Rhine Owls. Welcome to day 31 of Storytelling 101, the final day of camp. Congratulations, you made it to the end. I hope you all learned more about craft and the writing process during the course of this camp. If you are new to writing, I hope you feel prepared to start your first draft. And if you've written before, I hope you have the tools to improve your writing and become a better writer. I will be adding a new page to my website, which is jlwinemeister.com, and that new page is going to have a bunch of resources like links to author tube videos and different craft books, and they're all going to be ones that I recommend. Not all resources are good, so I will probably also put a list of ones that I don't approve of, that way you don't waste your time and money on them, and I'll also explain you know, why I don't approve of them. But you can check out that new page on my website if you want to look for more resources to help you improve your writing. There will be future Camp Write Owls. Some of them will have different content, and some of them will have more in-depth discussions of the content from Storytelling 101. The next camp will be Grammar 110, and that will be launching on June 1st and going all the way through the end of the month. So if you need help with grammar, then you can check that out on June 1st. I will be covering punctuation, other grammatical things, and I'll also be talking about how to format dialogue, things like that. It's the more technical aspect of writing. So if you are interested in that, you can stay tuned until the summer and then you can participate in that camp. If you participated in Storytelling 101, whether it was one lesson or all of them, I would greatly appreciate it if you answered a few questions to help me develop better Camp Ride Owls in the future. The first question is, did you find any of the lessons in Storytelling 101 helpful? If not, why? Two is, did I explain things well enough? I sometimes forget that things that I've known for a really, really long time are new to other people and I just kind of brush over them without explaining them because I don't feel like they need to be explained just because they're so familiar to me. So if I did that at any point, please let me know and I will go back and expand upon that topic. Three is which topics from Storytelling 101 would you like to see me cover more in depth in the future? And number four is which topics would you like to see that were not covered in Storytelling 101? Let me know in the comments. I'm excited to see your answers and I can't wait to develop more Camp Ride Owls for you in the future. Again, I really hope that Storytelling 101 benefited you in some way and I look forward to seeing some of you in Grammar 110 in June. I hope you all have an amazing day.